Hello and welcome to another online training session with Shiro Kashi Aikido. In today's class, we'll be looking at the basic Hapo Ski and four variations using Hasso Geishi. Hapo Ski is an eight directional thrusting movement. If you are standing in left Ski no Kamai and imagine you're standing on a compass, your Joe is pointing north. In the basic form, we will turn from north to south, then to west and east, before bisecting the directions turning southwest, then northeast. Then we turn to southeast and turn to finish pointing northwest. As with the Hapo Giri, every other turn is 180 degrees, but unlike the Hapo Giri, you turn to the compass points in a different order. Let's take a look at the basic form. OK, so let's take a closer look at the hand movement, which is the part you're going to be probably find the most tricky. After you've made your first thrust, release the grip with your backhand, allowing you to slide the joe back, bringing your hands together. The joe is now in the middle of your body as it turns upright in line with your centre. Turn it end over end into ski kamai and then make your second thrust. And on each turn, you're going to release with your backhand, bringing the joe together, hands together, turning the joe upright in line with your centre before realigning with where you're going to thrust. So work on this before you work on the actual directions that you're turning, bringing your hands together, turning it and then thrusting only when you're pointing in the right direction. Work on this slowly so you can get your timing correct before you start to go any faster. Once you become comfortable with it, you can then up your speed. So now we're going to use Hasso Geishi Uchi and combine it with the footwork from the Hapo Giri. So make standard Hasso Geishi Uchi as you would when practicing Saburi. And then we put the turn in that we use from the Hapo Giri. So 180 degree turn. And then we do the quarter turn and finish the Saburi. So this is a way of mixing the two moves together, practicing the footwork and also practicing your Saburi. The turns and the points of the compass are the same order that you would do it on, on the regular Hapo Giri. Let's have a look at the block as we make the turn. So on the first move, it's just standard Saburi. But then as we turn here, we keep the joe in front of us, the blocks permanently in place until I've turned the full 180 degree turns. Then I can release into the Hasso movement. And every time I turn to the block, so I'm going to turn to my right, I'm going to block to the right there and make sure I'm blocking on an oncoming strike before making the, the Hasso and the Uchi. Each time I turn, you'll see the joe's in front of my body. It's cleared any obstruction away in front of me as I'm turning, allowing me to then step forward and strike. So this is the, the harder turn, this is the long turn all the way around. So on variation one, this is probably the trickiest move. So I'll move on to the second variation. Again, we're going to use Hasso Geishi Uchi. And the only difference between this and the first variation is the order of the compass points. We start as standard, north, south, west and east. And then whereas in variation one, we had that tricky turn into position five. In the second variation, we make it just a small turn to the, to the right here. It's actually a simpler version. 
from there we obviously have a 180 degree turn into our sixth move and then we're back to 90 degree turns. So, so the only difference really to get you off is to turn on that move five just slightly off to the right 45 degrees to the right on the block that's the only difference. The third variation involves a turn to the right with the block for each move. So we have eight turns to the right. So to begin with, we start with 90 degree turns and then make Hasogeshi Uchi. Each time turning exactly 90 degrees to the right. We'll complete this four times. until we're pointing back to north. Our fifth move is turning 135 degrees behind us. And then we're back to 90 degree turns to the corners again. And I'm using the same exercise from earlier, making sure that as I turn, my block is in front of my body and I'm only turning into Hasse when I've completed the turn and I'm pointing in the right direction. And now I'll repeat the exercise without indicating where I'm turning to, but it's exactly the same order as we've just seen. And our final exercise, we're going to change the move. We're going to do Hasso Geishi Ashiro Uchi. So we're going to strike to the rear after we've made our block. Again, we're going to use the 90 degree turn at the start into the Hasso. 90 degree turn behind to Hasso, then turn on the balls of your feet and cut behind you. And we're just cutting to flat. We're not cutting down to the knee height as you would normally do with an Ashiro Uchi from Hasso. Change for position five. So this is a new angle here. It's the first time we've done it to that angle in this order. But really with all of these hapo giri, hapo ski moves, the order isn't really important. What's important is getting the flow, keeping the form, and making sure that you go into all the different compass points. So that's the end of today's class. I hope you enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you next time.